John 10 verse 10 says, The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. I am come that they might have life, and that they might have it more abundantly. We are all aware that the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy, but my question is, how does he come? How does he enter into a person's life and take something from them? The devil uses people to get to people. He knows that if he comes in his form, you will surely cast him away or resist him easily, and that is why he uses people to get to you. We all have close friends and associates. We have family members who we trust and listen to. God doesn't want you to be alone and lonely, but at the same time, he wants you to be careful about whose voice you trust and listen to. The devil is not going to use or send someone that you hate or unfamiliar with. He will use the most familiar voice you know to try to deceive you and lure away from God's plan. The devil is not joking about his plans to steal, kill, and destroy you. That is why he will use everything including sending people into your life or speaking through your friends and family just to get you trapped. Most times, the people the devil sends into your life come as a friend. They know everything about you. They advise you. They tell you their secrets so that you can tell them yours too. These people are everywhere. They are in your school. They are in your work. They are in your neighborhood. They talk to you. They walk with you. It is not easy to discern them until they have accomplished their mission. They are the ones that will shake you with a handful of thorns. They are the ones who will hug you and stab you in the back. The truth is that all of us have these people in our life. The devil keeps bringing them because he is always planning to do us evil. This is time to discern them and cut them off completely from your life. We cannot be completely free from such people. The devil keeps bringing them because he is always planning to do us evil. This is time to discern them and cut them off completely from your life. Here are the things to watch out for when you want to discern these people. Number 1. They direct your attention away from God. When person, whether it's a friend or a family member, that consistently directs your attention away from God, then you need to cut them off completely. The devil doesn't savor the things of God but of men. He will try to make you desire things that are not godly but carnal. If a person's ideas or suggestions always go against your belief in God, you need to run away from them. If you have warned and they don't want to respect your faith, then you need to cut them off. What these people are doing by giving you such suggestions is that they are sowing seeds of doubt in you. When the seeds start to grow, it brings the fruit of unbelief in you. This is when you start doubting God. You will start to look for alternatives outside of Christ. Pay attention. When God sees these people around you, He tries to warn you. Number 2. They are not happy with your success. When people around your circle want you to fail, then you need to be more careful about them. They will outrightly tell you they are not happy, but they will joking criticize your success. They will say you don't deserve it. If they don't congratulate you on your success, you need to run away from them. The reason most of them are not happy is because they don't want you to rise above them. They want to be able to control you. There are people like this around you. They are at your work. They come as friends, but deep down inside, they want you to fail. You need to ask God to expose evil friends before they damage your life. Most of these kind of friends will encourage you to do something wrong so that you will fail to get that promotion or pass higher than them. If your friend doesn't aspire for you to be better than them, you need to seriously watch out for them. Number 3. Those who consistently discourage you there is no way God will send someone into your life who will discourage you from fulfilling your purpose. The devil will bring in discouragement especially when you are on the right path. These kind of people will encourage you to do all kinds of evil. They encourage you to steal, sleep with different people, fornicate and commit adultery, do drugs, and all kinds of stuff. So what if they call you boring? So what if they talk about you or call you a Jesus freak? It is better to live a wholly lonely life than to live a popular life that leads to hell. Number 4. They kill your dreams. We know the devil to be the number one dream killer. 
If that person you are calling a friend or that close to you is trying to kill your dream, you must run. The devil uses anyone who tries to make themselves available for him. It is not always you have to be friends. He can even be family. You have a dream. Everyone has a dream. We want to be great in life and we want to be known. But these people will don't want that to happen. They will always find a way to keep you under so that the dream will never become fulfilled. It is the plan of God to make your dreams become true. God will always want you to be great. After we read through his word, we will understand that the plans of God are good ones. The devil will always want to destroy that plan. This is why he will send people to you to destroy it. Therefore, don't be so quick to tell everyone about your plans. Brothers and sisters, be careful when it comes to people in your life. Be careful because you have an enemy called the devil. The devil sends wrong people into our lives. He orchestrates his agents into our lives so that he can steal, kill and destroy what God has given us. Here is one thing you have to know about the devil. The devil doesn't like you. He is a jealous devil. Right from the beginning when God had made dominion, he has been jealous of mankind. He will deceive you into thinking that God is against you. He wants you to not know that he is the real enemy. But how does the devil distract a person who is focused on the things of God? How does the devil destroy a person? He doesn't come to anyone physically. The devil has influence over many people. Many people who are close to you can be influenced by the devil. Sometimes you may not know how to discern these wrong people. Number five, they discourage you and drain your energy. There is popular saying that stay away from those who discourage you. They have a problem for every solution. These set of people will always talk you down no matter how much you try to make progress. They may be close you, but my friend, you need to be wise and separate from them. If you are going to ever be successful, you don't need people around you who drain your energy with problems and negativity. Be wise to choose your crowd carefully because they play a major part in your life whether you are aware or not. Number 6. People who remain you of remind you or drag you back to your past. Another popular saying, God is always in the future, but the devil resides in the past. When you have someone close to you who always reminds you of your old self, they'd always drag you back into your old sin. Then it's time to cut that person off. You cannot be trying to move forward with God and at the same time be dragged back by the devil. You're stuck. You need to make a decision to move forward. Stop going back to that old lifestyle. Stop going back to your vomit. Any friend that tells you that it's okay to visit your past life once in a while, that friend will be the reason of your downfall. Those types of people are dangerous. Don't be enticed by the things you once did. You are a brand new person. Those old lifestyle are passed away. God is happy with your new status. Those your friends from the past who are trying to remind you of where you used to be. They are not happy that you have a new life now. They trying to bring you back. Don't allow it. Number seven anyone who is against your faith. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 14 Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? Don't be yoked with people who are against your devotion to God. Evil communication corrupts good manners. If you surround yourself with faith people, you will be encouraged to go for more of God. If you surround yourself with unbelievers, you will corrupt yourself. Anyone who is against your God cannot be your friend. A person cannot hate my God and love me. Look around you and discern these people. If a relationship diverts your attention from God, cut it off. God will not give a person who will destroy you.